If you have your Bibles, do me a favor, run over to St. Matthew. Hallelujah! We bless your name, Jesus. I'm going to kind of go back into it and have a little bit more fun with it, if you don't mind. Amen. Bless his name. Matthew 18. Matthew 18 and 18. When you have it, shout, Amen. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you, if yeah, two of you shall agree on earth touching anything that they shall ask. I'm just trying to find some prayers in the building. It shall be done yeah, for them for, yeah, of my Father which is in heaven. For, for verse number 24, two, yeah, or three are gathered together in my name. There am I in the midst of them. Mm. Mm. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever ye loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. God, we thank you. God, we need you. Speak to us, Master. Speak through us. God, we thank you for what you've already done. We thank you for what you're getting ready to do. Be in this place like never before. It's in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I don't have a particular title tonight. I'm going to just start talking, and you can make up a title as you want. Amen. But if I was to drop a thought out there, it would be, it's already done. Amen. Touch at least three people and tell them it's already done. It's already, it's already done. Bless his name. It's already done. The thing you've been praying for is already done. <laughs> God, I love you. Master, I love you. Glory to God. You have to bear with me just for a moment. Amen. I'm going to try to get us out of here in about 20 to 25 minutes and we can go on home. Amen. And get out of the rain. Glory to God. But I, I, I was looking at this particular scripture and a couple other scriptures I want to kind of tie into it. You have Exodus 17. Whenever you get opportunity, you can go read that. And, amen. You also have scripture over in Luke that I want to look at as well. Um, but if you just bear with me for a moment, I had to try to figure out who I am first. Yeah, who, who, who I am. Who I am. Who I am in Christ. Who, 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 who am I in, in, in Christ? Who who am I? Come on, ask yourself, who am I in Christ? Who, who am I in Christ? And, and then when I begin to look at who, who I am in Christ, I had to pull a few scriptures together and to begin to find out exactly who, who I am. And, 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 then I, and then I looked at it from another perspective as well. Um, I first had to find out who I am, whose I am. Mm-hmm. And then I had to think about what I have access to because of who I am. Because you have access to certain things once you figure out who you are. Am I making any sense? So, 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 so okay, all right. In the natural, in the natural, um, um, I have access, amen, to my father's possessions but uh, simply because I asked him to, he is my father, he will give me access to certain, uh, certain things of his possession. Amen. I can't go over there and just get everything I want, but if I go and ask for some certain things, he will give me access to it. Why? Because I am his son. 
Amen. Um, with, 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 with my son, what, what I end up doing is oftentimes I give him access to come into my room and get certain things out of my room. Sometimes I don't like it, but I've given him access. Amen. I, I, I turn around every once in a while and see him wearing a watch or see him wearing a tie or see him, do, you know, he come, he come, you know, rocking one of my good ones and I'm going through changes. And I'm, boy, I'm, I'm wearing a $25 watch and that one costs way more than, boy, and you got on my good watch, you know, I got a problem. But I've given him access. Mm, am I making any sense? I've given him access because why? I am his father, and I've paved the way so that he don't have to fight as hard as I had to fight to get the things that I have. I'm preaching already, and I don't know if they're getting it yet, but I'm preaching real good already, amen? Because if we, if we are of God and, and, and we, are, we, are, we are his children, we have access to certain things that he has already paved the way that we don't have to fight as hard to attain the things that he has already given unto us. But the moment that we find out who we are, then we know how much access that we have. Amen. There are some demons my children will never have to fight. Let me say that one more time. Amen. There are some demons that my children will never have to fight. Why? Because I've already defeated them. I've already paved the way so that my children won't have to fight the same things that I had to fight. Uh, I, I, I did this once in, in my backyard. I promise you I'm going to get out of your way real, real, real quick. I did this in, in my backyard once. It snowed and snow was almost waist, waist high, and I ran out in the backyard. My children wanted to go out and play. And I said, well, wait a minute. It's a little bit too dangerous, and it's a little bit too deep right now for you to go out there. But then they kept pressing me. They said, well, Daddy, we want to go out into the snow. Daddy, we want to go make, you know, snow angels. Y'all know how we do. We make the little snow angels and stuff. They wanted to go out and make snow angels. And I said, all right, I'm going to make sure that you can make snow angels. But first, let me go out here. Hmm. When I went out there, I began to take steps and pushing down the snow. And, and every time I took a step, I was pushing down more snow. And every time I took a step, I was pushing down. Now, it was hard for me to do so because now I'm fighting against a whole lot of opposition. I was fighting against a whole lot of stuff. I was fighting against all kind of territorials. I was fighting against all kind of, you know, you know, you know. I'm preaching good, y'all not listening. Amen. I was fighting against all of those things. And yeah, by the time I went back into the house, I said, well, you can go out there now but just stay in my tracks. The reason I wanted them to stay in my tracks because I've already defeated that, and then I've already defeated this, and then I've already defeated that over here, and then as long as you stay in my tracks, your way will be easy. The moment you get off track, it be the moment that things get a little bit tougher, things get a little bit harder. So I had to find out who we are, and I found out, yeah, we have, and who we are in God, we are God's possession. We are God's children, we are God's elect, we are God's chosen, we are God's beloved. Yeah, we are heirs. Uh-huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. And Christ co-heirs. We, 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 we have access, access. We are the temple. We are the actual temple. It's just not a church. We are the temple uh, of God. We, we, are the, we are the place that where God resides. We are the place where the Holy Spirit resides. Everywhere we go, we have God with us. Why? Because we are the chosen. We are the elect. We are the ones that God, amen. Glory to God. Y'all not preaching with me tonight. Amen. We are God's elect. And we are his temple. And, and then I had to look at it a little bit further uh, to find out, yeah, 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 some of the things that we have been. Hmm. What, what, what do you mean, Pastor? We, we, yeah, we, we have been adopted into God's family. This is all scripture. Y'all can look it up later. We, we have been justified. Amen. We have been purchased. We have been purified. We have been sprinkled by his blood. We have been redeemed by his blood. We have been washed. Yeah, yeah. In his blood. We have been cleansed with his blood. We have been sanctified by his blood. We have been rescued. Yeah, yeah. From kingdom of darkness. We have been rescued. Somebody tell somebody, tell them, I've been rescued. I've been rescued. I, I, I've been rescued. I've been rescued. I've been given the Holy Ghost. I've been. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. There are some things that has, that has been predestined over my life that I may have to be in the walk in those things that, that I so so now so now since I know who I am, I have been given power. Why have you been given power? How have you been given power? You've been given power because God wants you to dwell over the earth realm. He wants you to dwell over the earth realm. He wants you to dwell over the earth realm. If you go back into, amen, but go back into Genesis, you find out that, that, that we were put here, amen, to, to dwell over, amen, not just to blend in. Ah, glory to God. Amen. He has given us dominion, however, we just blending in. Whew, glory to God. We have given us power. He has given us the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost is power. Holy Ghost is power. Somebody say, touch power. Touch hey, power. It's, it's, they're, they're, come on, tell somebody, tell them power, power. Power, 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 power. Come on, power. I, I want to hear as a power, power. Because because I'm going somewhere. He said power. He said he said power. What do you mean by power? This is what I mean, amen, by power. Um, God has given us power to do things. He has given us power, amen, over things. He has given us this, he's given us power to dwell over. He has given us power to conquer. He has given us power to defeat the enemy. Mm. Amen. Amen. He has given us power. Somebody say power. power. Uh, now, 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 I just need to find out if there ain't anybody in the room that's really ready for power. Because if you understand who you are, you have to understand that you are in the right position. After you know who you are, you're in the right position to receive the power that God has for you. Amen. I'm just trying to find at least three people in the building that want power, that want the power, that want power. Amen. All I need is three that want power. If you want power, I need you to holler back at me in this place today. God is pouring out his power on those who are willing to receive what he has for you. Somebody shout power. Glory to God. He has given us he has given us power. So now, so now, so now, what do you mean he has given us power? I looked at this scripture, right, amen, over in Matthew 18. If you look at, look at that, that scripture, he said, whatever, yeah, 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 you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Let me try it again. Whatever you bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. One translation says, if you should loose it in the heavens, it shall be bound on the earth. And it says, if you bind it in the heavens, it shall be bound on the earth. So, so now, what are you trying to tell me? He has given me the authority. <sighs> Glory to God. He has given me the authority to lose some things in the heavenlies yeah, that will begin to manifest, amen, down here on earth. Am I making any sense? He said, he said if you lose it up here, I will give it to you down here. Let me try it again. If you bind it up here, I will bind it down there. You don't have to fight that way. All you need to do is open up your mouth and begin to bind those things. Why? Because I've given you power. Let, 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 let's keep moving. He's given you power. He's given you power. He's given you power. He's given you power power to lose some things and to bind some things. Uh, Pastor O, some, so oftentimes the, uh, the issue with our churches is this. This is one of the issues with our church. Every time the Holy Ghost falls, we want to dance. Ain't nothing wrong with dancing, but when the Holy Ghost falls, sometimes our issue is all we want to do is dance. The reason that the Holy Ghost falls is to give you access to the power. Let me try that again. He's trying to give you access to the power. We too busy dancing and shouting that we miss our opportunity to begin to speak into the heavenlies and begin to loose things on the earth because why? We too busy doing other stuff. God is trying to give us power by his access to the Holy Ghost, but we are ignoring that moment. Okay, so, so, so he gives us access by his spirit. Once the heaven comes down, dwells in the earth, Holy Ghost, amen. Uh, so once it comes in, now it gives us access hmm, to do the things that he's already given us power 
but we cannot ignore the access because we're caught up on a feeling. All right. Do y'all mind if I drop a pin right there for just one second? Because there's too many of us in this building today, amen, that's watching online, that we get too caught up in our emotions that we can't get nothing done. Oh, glory to God. We operate from an emotional state, and since we're operating from an emotional state, anything can bother us, and anybody can say anything that can bother us in the moment that those things are said to you. Now you're all out of whack, and you're operating outside of where God called you to operate in, because why? You're wrapped up and tied up into your emotions that now you have missed your moment of access and your power because you're so emotional. Hmm. Am I making any sense tonight? I, I got a few more minutes and I'm gone. Amen. So, so, it's given of access. Holy Ghost fall. We have access. Now we have power. Since now we have power, glory to God, because the Holy Ghost comes and gives us power. And, and if we tap into the power that he is giving us, we can begin to loose things and to bind things. Okay, can I, can, can I, can I make this make sense just a little bit? There was a woman who had an issue for 18 years. Amen. She had an issue for 18 years. She was bent over. She was bent over. She was, she was bent over. She was, she was bent. She was stuck. 18. Stuck. That's over in the book of Luke. She was stuck in one position for a long time. She was stuck in the same place. 18 years. She was stuck in the same situation for 18 years. She would walk around. It can't even really look up. She would just be walking around. She always looking down. Why? Because it even hurt to lift up her head to see where she was going. So half the time she had to follow other people that was just walking close to her uh, because she was stuck in the same place for a long time. I don't know who's been stuck in the same place for a long time, but I'm so glad the Holy Ghost has given us power. I'm going to speak, amen, in this house tonight that you will no longer be stuck in the same place. All right. Okay. Y'all got to pray for me, amen. I'm working on something, amen. I'm working on it. So now she, she's stuck. She's bent over, and she finds her way uh, into the synagogue. When she gets to the synagogue, amen, Jesus then sees her and calls him, calls her to him. Say, come here. Come here. Let me, let me see what's going on. Let me see. Come here. Let me see. Jesus called for her. Uh, Jesus called this woman that had been bent over, stuck, amen, stuck in the same position, stuck on the same level, stuck, can't see past this, stuck in the same place. Jesus called for her. She comes over. Jesus, Jesus then looks down at her and says, woman, thou art loose. Okay. All right. All right. Let, let me help y'all with something. How can he speak to this bent over woman? She's still bent over, but Jesus begins to utter a word into the heavenlies. Okay. Begins to, to yeah, yeah. He released a word into the heavenlies. And when he released that word into the heavenlies, then she heard it. Once she heard it, she began to stand up. Okay. All right. Let me, let, let me throw this out there. He spoke into the heavens on something that had something to, to do with down here in the earth. Are y'all following me? He spoke into the heavens and released something on the earth. Let's try it again. He spoke into the heavens and then he released something here on the earth. Okay, let's try that one more time. He spoke into the heavens and released some things here on earth. When she heard the word, she was being loosed from her infirmities. There is a word that you can hear that will change your entire life if you can just receive a word. I don't need a whole lot. All I need is a word. I, I don't, I don't, yeah, glory to God. I don't need a bunch of stuff. All you got to speak a word to me and then. Pay attention, pay attention. He spoke the word and she believed the word. 
That's the key. He spoke a word and she believed the word. Once she believed the word, now the word is coming into action. And now the action is that she stood straight up. Woo. Glory to God. I'm trying to tell somebody in here tonight that God is getting ready to make some stuff straight. Glory to God. Things that's been crooked for a long time, God is getting ready to make some things straight. I got to get out of here. Amen. I told you I wasn't going to hold you long at all, but I don't know about you. All I need is a word. Glory to God. All I need is one word. All I need is one word. Glory to God. Once God begins to speak into the heavenlies, and now you see the action down here on earth, all I need is a word. Tell somebody, tell them, all I need is a word. Glory to God. I don't need nothing else. All I need is a word. I know you're looking for somebody to hoop and to holler. I know you're looking for somebody to put on a show for you. Listen, I don't need a show. All I need is a word. You give me the word, my finances will change. You give me a word, healing will show up. You give me a word, breakthrough will show up if you give me a... All I need is a word. Just one word. Let me help somebody out real quick. If we all get on the same page in here tonight... I need everybody on the same page tonight. Come on, grab somebody by the hand quickly, amen. And I'm about to get out of here. All I need is a word. Woo. For the non-believers, this ain't going to make no sense at all. Because I know everybody in here is not a believer. We all believe on different levels. Everybody don't have this level of faith. Glory to God. But I'm going to throw this out here real quick. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? I need y'all to help me. Can, are you, are, are, can you agree with the person you're holding their hand with? Amen. Because if you can't agree with them, I need you to move. Please, 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 don't see, don't, don't think it's funny. But if I can't agree with you, you need to move. This is a serious moment in this house. Glory to God. Jesus spoke to the woman and said, Woman, thou art loosed. And that infirmity dropped off because he spoke into the heavens and had reaction upon the earth. Okay, let's try this right here. Are we touching in the green? Because the scripture says where two or three are gathered together, there he will be in the midst. That's, that's what it says. It also says where there are two that is agreeing on the same thing. Yeah. It shall happen. It shall come to pass if I have two agreeing on the same thing. That's what the Bible says. So, so I'm going to use the word to speak a word. Is that all right? Now, I just need just a little bit of help now. Now, 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 now. Now, this might be a little crazy. Ooh, glory to God. But I'm going to say it anyway because I just heard it all in my spirit. Amen. Bishop, thou art loose.
thing in your household will turn completely around. I need for somebody, put your hands together and give God's name a praise. Whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Somebody put your hands together and bless God tonight. Make sure they're saved. Make sure they have a church home. I need you to make sure that everybody on your row has been baptized. Glory to God. Everybody. Anama. Everybody saved in the house? Everybody have a church home? Everybody saved. Come on, everybody saved. Everybody have a church home? Everybody been baptized? Come on, everybody, everybody. Glory to God. Moses was up on the mountaintop while they were fighting the Amalekites. While they were fighting the Amalekites, he went up on the mountaintop. Keep singing. I like that song. Yeah. He went up on the mountaintop, not not to run away from the enemy. No, no. He wasn't running from the enemy. There come seasons when you have to be more strategic. Glory to God. There are seasons when you have to be more strategic. So while he was up fighting, glory to God. The same enemy that they were fighting down in the valley, they were just fighting on two different levels. Well, what do you mean, Pastor? They were fighting a multi-dimensional. Yeah. Yeah. Fighting on a multi-dimensional level. So, so they had warfare that they were fighting on these different levels. Uh, they were, they, they were, uh, they looked like they were two people. You had one down in the valley, one up on the mountain. You looked like they were two people. With actuality, they were really one. What do you mean? Well, they were fighting the same fight, but from two different perspectives. You had one that's fighting up, amen, on the mountaintop. As long as he had his hands lifted, they were winning in the valley. The moment he dropped his hands, they started to lose. Okay, all right. Let's try this. So he was up on the mountaintop, and as long as his hands were in a position of praise, they won in the valley. Let's try this one more time. Can we try one more time? Try one. As long as he was up on the mountaintop speaking in the heavenlies, they prevailed in the earth. He went up high so that he can speak into the heavens on their behalf. All right. For them to win the fight, they had to come up with a different plan than what they've done before. Where God is taking us in this ministry, we have to fight. 
but on two different dimensions. We have to fight on two different dimensions. Spirit realm and in the earth. For us to win the fight, we have to take our faith and then put it with our works so that we can win the fight. Because faith without works is, yeah, yeah. So while, so while, while our bishop is up here praying with his hands lifted up in praise and in worship, we are down in the valley fighting against the enemy while he is uttering up words into the heavens. We are down in the valley getting the work done. grab somebody by the hand. I want to continue our prayer for the entire month of August coming in at 7 p.m. Amen. We're asking our leaders, we're asking our intercessory prayer uh, ministry to be in the house. Amen. For the rest of the month. Glory to God. For the rest of the month. I would love for every one of the intercessors of this ministry to be here at 7 p.m. on the Wednesday night for the rest of this month. Amen. Glory to God. Because this enemy will not prevail. Oh yeah, I'm going to speak it. This enemy will not prevail. This enemy will not prevail. Glory to God. Uh, I've learned that Sometimes the head has to be attacked before the body can come together. Amen. We are the body, and we have to come together. Amen. To strengthen the head. Uh, are y'all following me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say that the next week. Amen. Um, I like it. Amen. So. I need for you to squeeze that hand on the left and on the right. As we are connected all around this building. Leaders and laity both. We are all connected around this building. There's some things that we have to attack. We have to attack. Spirit of manipulation, we have to attack. Amen. We have to attack these things. We have to attack competition. We have to attack. Amen. We have to attack these things. We have to attack. Amen. Order. Why? Because we operate out of order oftentimes. So, so we're going to attack disorder. Can we do that? Can we attack disorder? Amen. We're going to go after it. We're going to go after it. And the one thing that I really want to attack... Glory to God. Is this selfish thing? Yeah, the selfish thing. That, uh, amen, that, that, that you have to be the only one that can do it. You know the selfish thing, you know. You have to understand there's more people in this room that are talented that can do some of the same things that you've been doing for a long time. Glory to God. We're going to attack that selfish thing. Come on, as you're squeezing that hand, turn to him, tell him, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. I need your strength in this, new, in this season, amen. I need your strength in this season. I need your prayers in this season. Come on, talk to somebody. Amen. Sometimes I might not have the joy I need. I need your joy. I need your joy. I might be weak sometimes. I need for you to encourage me. Come on, encourage me. I need you to encourage me sometimes. 
Lord God, I thank you for the hand that I am holding, the one on the left hand, the one on the right. Bless them now. Give them everything that they stand in need of, Lord God. Master, bless them in their coming and in their going, Lord God. Bless them. Everything that they are connected to, God, bless them. Bless this hand, Lord God. Amen. Bless them right now in the name of Jesus, Master. Anything that is not like you, we bind in Jesus' name. We bind poverty in Jesus' name. We bind sickness in Jesus' name. We bind confusion in Jesus' name. We lose love in the name of Jesus. We lose togetherness in the name of Jesus. And we thank you. We praise you. Somebody loose those hands and give God a praise. Do me a favor. Hug three people. Hug three people. Tell them that you love them. Come on, hug three people. Tell them that you love them. Now, before we go, before we go, I'm glad you reminded me, Mike. I need a basket quickly. Before we go, I need you. Before we leave, I almost forgot. Our bishop has done this, and I'll make sure we're going to continue to do this. Amen. I need you to grab an offering in your hand all over the building. You need to grab a seed all over the building. Amen. Get something in your hand before we get out of here tonight. Get an offering. As soon as you get an offering, some of you did not have an opportunity to give earlier. Amen. This is your time now come from all over the building no matter where you are everybody get something in your hand amen and bring i'm not going to throw a number out there or anything like that at all i just need you to come and just give amen give and it shall be given unto you press down shaking together and running over to the seed sower in this house i'm asking god to bless some 30-fold, some 60-fold, some 100-fold. I'm asking God to release blessings into your life, into the life of your family. I'm asking God to release In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. to cover everyone hedge of protection around everyone has been assembled here as you go back to your homes you find them better than you left them we thank you it's in jesus name amen